Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show as we come off the bye and get ready for a few weeks of football, starting with a trip to Chester, Pennsylvania, to take on the pride of Wadden University. I'm James Wagner, Assistant AD for Athletic Communications, here with Ed Hoddle, our football coach. And Ed, uh, obviously you had the bye week last week. How did uh, the bye week go? Uh, it went well. Uh, we got some good work in, got some strength stuff in, got some on-field stuff done, um, got some rest for some guys, mm-hmm. got some rehab for some guys. Uh, so I think we feel pretty good. And the bye week, is it coming to the right time? I know sometimes, obviously, the MAC does everything uniform in one bye week, and then there's some leagues that do the bye week in week three. There's some that do them all the way in 10. Is this the right time for a bye week? I think so. Okay. Um, you know, week four or week five, I think they're pretty much the same, you know, in, in that midweek mark, uh, midseason mark. A couple of years ago, we had the week 11, the dreaded week 11 mm-hmm. bye. Yes. Um, 10 straight was certainly a challenge. Um, you know, glad to have the universal buy. You know, in, in week four or five, I think it, I think it fits really well for us. Well, let's jump back to the Alvernia game. Obviously, big win at home. Um, you know, winning beating Alvernia now after beating Delval. Um, one thing I noticed when you looked at the box score is the last couple of games has been ball control. You've hold the ball for 35, 36, 37 minutes. Obviously, running the ball um, has helped with that. How's the development of the offense been? going since you're able to do that now well it, that was a, a point of emphasis if you recall you know talking in the preseason we had to establish the run mm-hmm. um we've we've been able to do that we've tweaked some things made some personnel changes um some by by our decision some by injury decisions um you know we've had some of the young running backs step up and do a really really nice job um so it, it's kind of fulfilling our identity so to speak is what we wanted to get done mm-hmm. um, early in the year and, ha- and having an opportunity to to really kind of pin down our identity as an offense how about the defensive side I thought the defensive side played well against our very last couple of games you know a tough game against Del Val and our Verney team that's improving. Talk about your defense a little bit. Um, it, same thing, kind of a, very much a work in progress, so to speak. You know, young guys playing, um, even some of our older guys, they're inexperienced. So, you know, getting every every time they take a snap in a game, every time they take, take a snap in a practice, they're getting better. And, um, you know, we, we talk a lot about, you know, playing – you know, having your best football on Saturday and then the following Saturday having, you know, getting better from your previous experience. And I think we've been able to do that um, and starting to stack good Saturday after good Saturday has been really important for us. So now coming in off the bye, we come to Widener. Widener, who came here last year, played him on a Sunday because of the hurricane, the tropical storm, whatever we had did a number on Widener, so now they probably have circled this game on their calendar for this year. Obviously, going up there, Quick Stadium, difficult place to play. What can we expect out of the Pride today? Uh, you know, they're physical, they're fast, um, well coached. Um, they're not going to make a lot of mistakes. You, you know, you're, you're, you've got to go into um, that type of environment, and you're going to have to beat them. They're not going to lose. Um, so, you know, we're, we're going to certainly have our hands full. Um, you know, they, they've got some, some do-it-all kind of quarterback guys. Um, you know, they've got some receivers that are, that are certainly a problem. And defensively, you know, they're big and they're mature and, and they do what they do. And, you know, they look to cause matchup problems all over the place. And one thing, last question I want to talk to you about is, obviously, you, you had the 0-2 start. And then you had the, the big win over Del Val. And one of the things I noticed on their social media, they, they were in the locker room swinging the, singing the Sweet Caroline and having a good time. Talk about the, maybe the mood of this team now coming off the bye week. Obviously, you had that rough start against a good Rowan team, you know, Eleven Valley team. What's the, been the mood of the team now going coming off this bye week? Has it, has it improved drastically? Uh, I, I think it's, it's incredibly optimistic. I think they're excited for the last six games. Um, you know, all of our preseason goals are still very much in play. Um, you know, in, in, in getting through the first four, um, well, I guess, you know, after the first two, you start to kind of look at some of your goals. and You're like, how realistic are they? Mm-hmm. Um, but then, you know, getting things righted, you know, winning two, you know, the, each of the last two. Yes. Um, puts us back into a position where all of our preseason goals are still out there for us. Um, and I think we're excited. I think we're optimistic about it. Um, as we start to get some guys back on the healthy side of things, you know, certainly play to our advantage, I think. And, um, you know, I, I think the locker room as a whole is is very much excited, you know, for the next six weeks. All right, good luck today. Thank you. All right, it's now time for Stevenson traveling up I-95 to take on Widener. Don't forget, homecoming next week with Albright here at Mustang Stadium. We'll talk to you next week. Go Stangs.